In this video, we will try to answer the question that we come across or hear several times. At least I have heard it um, quite a few times and that is, is RPA taking over my job? Okay, so let's go right in. So before we actually answer the question around if RPA is going to take over my job or your job or anybody's job, let's first understand what RPA is all about. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. Okay, and simply explained, it's nothing but the use of technologies and platforms to automate business processes. Not all processes can be automated, but then there are certain criteria associated with what can be automated through RPA and what cannot. And that's what we're going to look at right now. So we want to answer where does RPA really fit? There are certain criteria that have to be met before considering a process to be fit for robotic process automation. You might have processes that are repetitive, they are mundane, they require a lot of manual work, or they may take a lot of time and probably cost a lot to maintain. Now, if all of these criteria or at least one or more of these criteria are met, then that particular process becomes a viable candidate for robotic process automation. And I'm sure if you ask yourself that question, have you dealt with such processes or if you are running a company or a portfolio of multiple projects, and if you ask yourself that question as to whether do you have such processes that require a lot of manual work or that are repetitive in nature, then I'm sure you will respond with a resounding yes, right? <laughs> All right, I know I have. So there are two types of robotic process automation, one that is attended and the other that is unattended or unassisted. Attended RPA is nothing but when you as a user are involved in validating intermediate steps of the process and when you have unattended there is no intermediate validation involved. Fair enough. Attended, unattended, assisted and unassisted. Right. Now, let's come to the big resounding question that you all have uh, in this particular digital transformation world. Is it going to take over my job? Well, the short answer is no, it is not. Because there are many reasons. You are, uh, first of all, first of all, you are the subject matter expert. You know the process inside out. And so definitely you will be involved in transforming the process from start to finish by automating it and validating it, testing it and making it better and better through continuous process automation and continuous process improvement too. Like I said, you will be involved in process of validation and your company and your supervisor would also be involved in determining how can your skills be best utilized for more strategic work that way they are not left out your manager and your company should be also involved in determining how can they best utilize your valuable skill set for more strategic work how can they get you more involved in something else so there comes the value of cross training as well as upskilling the existing workforce. We do have uh, RPA certified professionals at Carrot Space. So if you are interested in automating any business processes that you may have in mind that are repetitive, mundane in nature, please uh, feel free to contact us info at carrotspace.com thank you so much hope you enjoyed this short and simple video if you did give your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thanks again